around here have been constructed by us. <laughs> These two were done by my son-in-law and all the rest by me. <laughs> this is a apartment building I've got here. Eight apartments. All I've given out on rent. We still have one vacant plot here. <laughs> Land price has multiplied by thousand times. <laughs> this entire, entire area has been done by me. <laughs> this one also. All these are done, yeah. This is the inner circle. Now this portion in 1888 was given to everybody. So once this was occupied, then people started buying outside of Whitefield like that. This was given free to them. Free means I think it was one rupee for each plot they were charged at that time. <laughs> this is all what I've done, right from, from that compound wall right up to here, right up to this. And also inside, if you go down there, there are another two, three houses along there, both sides there, that house at the back. The rest was all vacant land. Then I made about, I think, you know, five houses here and another four at the back. This area 
has now come up into a very nice park. The other half of the circle is a playground. They have cricket matches, football, hockey from time to time. Say 10, 12 years back, <coughs> it was just all scrub, little scrub jungle like that. <laughs> Here there used to be in this place there was what was known as the school building, the Whitefield School Building. But that building, nobody knocked it down, but it collapsed to its own accord. <laughs> <laughs> and died of old age. <laughs> Earlier days in Whitefield, there were some old bungalows on the main road and all that here. But they were all built with the brick and mud, stone and mud. The result is that it wouldn't stand up, you see. We get heavy rains, water seepage goes under the foundation, and due to the weight it sinks. So the foundation is not strong enough to retain the weight of the building. See, heritage basically is a building which has been constructed very very strongly with the with the idea in view that it should last maybe a hundred years <laughs> but many of the other buildings people will put little or no foundation this that and the other then somebody wants to put a first floor on it they put a first floor then they find cracks coming net result is you got to demolish it to fall off <laughs> so that is the difference heritage is something which you know, that period, even after 100 years, it will still be standing there. <laughs> See, I myself also, if I find there's a plot, old house or something, then it lends itself for development. I can make money on it. The old house is not worth standing there because it will get tired and fall down of its own accord suddenly. <laughs> I believe that we have to live for today <laughs> and tomorrow, <laughs> not live for only yesterday. <laughs> My way of looking at it is that the past has got its own place, right? Yeah, there are many things in the past which uh, we think about, which we, which we feel for our parents, our relations, our surroundings and things like that. You see, at that point of time, what we thought was something wonderful, uh, today is, uh, it is nothing. <laughs> you see, it is like that. <laughs>